so hey guys what's up welcome back to another tutorial video and in this one I'm going to show you how to fix lag and frame drops in Fortnite so as you may know the new season just came that's uh, a new chapter actually uh, season one flipped and after that you may face many lags because the unreal engines have changed and etc so if you don't have a GPU uh, like me or if you just game on Intel HD graphics uh, or Ryzen graphics so this video is for you I will show you how to just double your FPS like if you would get uh, I would get 15 FPS 10 to 15 FPS and now I get 60 to 70 FPS and the FPS the least FPS I get is 40 and I get sometimes over 100 FPS in creative or so so yeah, without wasting time let's get into the topic so yeah the first thing you want to do is you want to open settings which is here so then just go to your system and here advanced display settings okay so here now first see whether it's the maximum refresh rate or not this is the maximum refresh rate supported by my monitor that's 60 hertz so yeah it's in 60 hertz then here then here you have to type game mode see game mode settings just go here and make sure this is turned on okay make sure this is turned on then here you will find xbox game bar okay turn this off if you turn this on you may uh, experience fps drops so always turn this off and captures also no captures okay so if you just turn this off there will be nothing for captures so yeah this is the first step the second step is uh, sometimes you may face the sound delay or some uh, thing not only in fortnite but in other games when your discord is uh, on in background like this so if your discord is there like this what you want to do is just go to your user settings and here you can see something called the game overlay so just go to the game overlay and turn this off just simply turn this off this you'll get rid of those notifications while uh, uh, you know like playing competitive games etc and this is the first thing and the second thing the lag thing the lag issue the sound delay just disable this thing the hardware acceleration now disabling this your discord will restart once so yeah and after that you can just stay in any vc and play the game yeah of course if you live if you just share your screen then the fps will drop so this was the second step and the third step is the configuration file that i am gonna give in this video so now see from now on uh, any links I'm gonna give in this video I'll give in this section in my server so in the description you can see there's a link to join my server join my server this is my server as you can see so here in the important section okay at the top only in the important section there's a text channel called file links where I have given this file and I'll give all tutorial things mm, that you can download so I'll give here so it's just a media file link you can just open it like this and yeah, it's just 5 MB so just download it and I'll download in desktop it's a rare file if you don't have a rare uh, extractor just you can download the rare archiver thing from Google okay and if you face any issue uh, wait it's downloaded yeah. So if you face any issue while mm, just downloading this, the link is expired maybe, it won't. But if you do, just go straight down here, here the help queries, these sections. So you can just type here or this is my account, this, mm, this is me. So you can just add me or not add me, you can just simply just DM me for any queries or anything if you have regarding this. But for the uh, thing, you have to like join my server or I'll not give it in the description, you know. It's, not safe so yeah it's done now let's see the file so this is the file in here fortnite chapter 3 optimization pack okay so just open this and drag and drop i'll just extract it like this okay now i don't need this this is the file okay now there are the number of steps you need to follow so you just follow step by step it will be good 
so this is the first thing windows settings registry okay for this there are some files like this for each of them just do the thing i'm doing okay just click them click yes and then okay each of them yeah so our first step is done next is the cleanup so in cleanup we have to first open this thing it's a batch file so it will run on its own press any key to continue then the second one here then the disk cleanup so you have to clean up the windows c of course it's the system disk it will take a bit time just click on these two just click on them which are tick like this okay only these nothing else and if recycle bin if you have something in recycle bin it will also get checked on recycle bin so yeah delete files so we are done with this and then run here what you have to type it will just open a run command so you have to type prefetch in here okay and just click on continue then these are the files these are some just some cache files so you don't need to worry about them just click on control plus a shift plus delete and just delete this okay the files which won't get deleted just leave them delete the other files and yeah that is done for this step now again go back the third one that is the gpu settings so this just has some pictures of the graphics driver you have like you may have nvidia amd or intel hd like i don't have a graphics card so i'll just go with the intel hd here are some pictures which you can just see like in the amd everyone you can just see and compare with your settings and things you know like so i'm not opening this again you can just see them and just check your settings are same or not then is the power plan okay so for this you need something called the quick cpu so if you just have quick cpu for search here like wait, i have quick cpu so i'm not installing but if you don't have here is the installer you can install it easy so what you need to do is after you install it just open quick cpu here is it so here the system plan is ultimate performance okay so you need to check whether it's the ultimate performance now some some people have only the balanced one they can do nothing like for laptops etc i guess but if you have ultimate performance this the select the ultimate performance and here everything should be 100 okay these will be like this okay so just everything should be 100 and then apply okay now you can just close it and then we go to our fifth step no we will skip the fifth and sixth first fifth sixth and seventh okay we will now just see these two things all right so this is the mouse acceleration so for this you can just uh, it's just opened a shortcut so for your mouse acceleration so you have to see this is checked okay if this is not checked uh, if this is unchecked it will not work so you have to see this is checked apply and okay yeah and then the performance options in the performance options it will be this one let windows choose what's best for my uh, computer okay but it will be like this all right but you have to click on this one adjust for best performance not for appearance okay adjust for best performance and then just select these two boxes show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts these two just see them okay these two and then apply and now so your pc may look a bit you know like see when i am moving this thing it's like this but mm, yeah it will be 30% more smooth than usual your whole pc okay this is important this step and then let's go to these things so first i'll tell about these two okay so this is the fortnite config file so just open this config file here is a configuration settings file thing oh okay so just copy this file all right just copy this file and go to your game directory now how will you go to your game directory here you can you are seeing this place just click on any blank spot like this 
erase this and write percentage app data percentage and wait, okay percentage app data so here now you can see this user app data roaming so just again click on app data and then local then you can find here this fortnite game okay and then saved then config then windows cleaned and here this is the thing you can just pause the video and see this is, this is where you need to go so here you can just easily paste that file here i'm not placing because i have already pasted this now it will tell to replace then you have to click on replace okay so after you do that you can open this you are done with the config thing this will uh, change your game settings okay now see here are some more picks about uh, the game you play in you need to play in performance mode only if you don't have gpu but if you have gpu you can prefer directx mode but uh, i'll go with performance mode and here are the pictures what your settings need to be now guys see there's something called the resi uh, this resolution thing okay wait i'm showing you see here this is the unlimited you have to keep your frame rate unlimited only it's written according to your frame rate but not actually you have to keep it according uh, you have to keep it unlimited and this you have to be in full uh, full screen and the lowest resolution that your game supports in full screen like my game supports in 1366 into 768 only so you have to keep that but always full screen okay windowed mode then the background thing will also use your gpu so full screen and uh, this thing the 3d resolution always keep it below 60 okay below 60 it will be good the game will look bad but the things will be good the max in uh, pc the minimum is i guess 35 and in laptop it's 25 so you can keep 35 or 25 also if your game still lags or fps drops then it will be more smooth it will not lag in 35 or 25 but the game will look very bad you know it will be like in 360 qual uh, quality or uh, like that and the distance just keep it low it's written epic here but low and everything low meshes also low all right so uh, these are the things you can just see here uh, they have shown what is high meshes and low meshes okay uh, it's actually for the builds now everything done and we will go with the last one that is latency timer resolution so now this step is the most important step that is the latency timer resolution this is of the game crashes and you know like of the loading time sometime your game doesn't load so for that this there is the application timer resolution so what you just need to do is just copy this okay just copy this and uh, paste it in your desktop keep it okay never delete this thing and uh, also you can you know like pin it to your taskbar like you can bring it to your taskbar here just keep it in a taskbar and every time you just run your game okay every time you run your game make sure you run this thing before you run your game and click on the maximum so it will be 099 by default and uh, see minimum uh, this is for the resolution loading times these things so if you click the maximum it will be 499 just click the maximum once and then minimize and then you can just run your game so after you do these steps your game will be smooth like if you have uh, if you just face 15 20 30 fps if you just get 30 fps you will get uh, minimum 60 fps or more than that because it will just optimize your game more and so yeah so guys that was all for this video you can just check if uh, your game is smooth or not if it's smooth just make sure you like the video and if you're new to my channel feel free to subscribe and all my mm, social media links are given in the description so if you want to follow me like in facebook instagram and twitter you can just check them out once and my discord server link also you for the optimization uh, file link you need to join my server so yeah it's also given in the description that was all for today i hope you like this